into Santa Fe. In a resplendent cloud, the Holy Spirit appeared. The Father's voice was heard. This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Today we join with the church to celebrate the transfigurations of the Lord. Uh, and the special intention for this Mass is for the repose of the soul of Nestor Jaff Sr. And with that in mind, let us acknowledge our sin and so prepare ourselves for the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to you everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son confirmed the mysteries of faith by the witness of the fathers and wonderfully refigured our full adoption to sonship, grant, we pray, to your servants that, listening to the voice of your beloved Son, we may merit to become co-heirs with him who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. As I watched, thrones were set up. And the Ancient One took his throne. His clothes, his clothing was as bright as snow, and the hair on his head as white as wool. His throne was flames of fire with wheels of burning fire. A surging stream of fire flowed out from where he sat. Thousands upon thousands were ministering to him, and myriads upon myriads attended to him. The court was convened, and the books were opened. As a vision during the night continued, I saw one, like a son of man, coming on the clouds of heaven. When he reached the Ancient One and was presented before him, the one, like a son of man, receives dominion, glory, and kingship. All peoples and nations and language ser serves him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion <clears throat> that shall not ta be taken away. His kingship shall not be destroyed. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> the Lord is king the Most High over all the earth. Most king, the Most High over all the earth. The Lord is king, let the earth rejoice. Let the many islands be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Justice and judgment are the foundations of his throne. The Lord is king, the Most High over all the earth. The mountains melt like wax before the, the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his justice, 
and all people see his glory. The Lord is King, the Most High, over all the earth. Because you, O Lord, are the Most High over all the earth, exalted far above all gods. The Lord is King, the Most High, over all the earth. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Beloved, we did not follow cleverly devised myths when we made known to you the power and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we had been witnesses of his majesty. For he received honor and glory from God the Father when that unique declaration came to him from the majestic glory. This is my son, my beloved, with whom I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this voice come from heaven while we were with him on the holy mountain. Moreover, we possess the prophetic message that in altogether, is altogether reliable. You will do well to be attentive to it as to a lamp shining in a dark place until day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. This is my beloved son. With him, I am well pleased. Listen to him. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus took Peter, James, and his brother John and led them up a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became white as light. And behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them, conversing with him. Then Peter said to Jesus in replying, Lord, it is good that we are here. If you wish, I will make three tents here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud cast a shadow over them. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Then the disciples heard this. They fell prostrate and were very much afraid. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Rise, and do not be afraid. And when the disciples raised their eyes, they saw no one else but Jesus alone. As they were coming down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, Do not tell a vision to anyone until the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus had 12 disciples, but why he, di he didn't? Bring all of them to the mountain, but only three, Peter, John, and James. We did not know. Perhaps he, that's his choice, and nobody know the reason why he did it. But perhaps because the other nine, um, the other eight, no, the other nine did not want to. They were getting, getting tired for a whole day that they walked with Jesus, for a journey and everything that I have done with Jesus. They were so exhausted because they already spent too much things for a day. And sometimes they didn't feel well and they did not want to go because there's nothing fun on the mountain when the way to go up to the mountain is so difficult. And of course, there's no, there was no wine, no people up there. 
and therefore there are only three came with Jesus. Those people who still want to go with Jesus, even that the way go to the mountain is so hard, and they have to make another staff after the long journey that they went with him. And there was only three people can recognize and observe by their own eyes the transfigurations of Jesus. That just brought us something that we may always keep our minds. When other people just ask us, why do we have to spend our time to pray, to go to Mass, to go and continue to follow Jesus every single time? When we may be feel exhausted for the whole day with many duties and responsibilities in our lives, why we have to pray every single day and continue to follow Him when we have many things already happen, and sometimes when we just do it, that was, there is no fun at all. But my brothers and sisters, just a moment to be with Jesus, just a moment when you open your eyes and your heart, you don't even know that you will witness something that go beyond what you can image. There will be something that can bring you, stir up your spirit, strengthen your faith, and continue to help you to walk furthermore like those people who are experiencing the transfigurations of the Lord. So don't even give up or feel tired of what you do because you never know throughout the way that you go and follow Jesus, he transfigures himself to you and you are the only one who can witness that. Please stand. Knowing that his words lead to eternal life, we turn to our Father in prayer. For all members of the church, may the voice of Christ be our guide and lead us to further unity and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. For elected leaders, may God help them grow in the virtue of charity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all who are sick, may the healing consoli consolation of Christ touch them and comfort them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For those who offer the gift of their time to this faith community, may God bless their effort let us pray to the Lord. For all who have died, especially next to Jeff Sr., may they enjoy eternal life in heaven and behold the face of God. Let us pray to the Lord. And for the special intention that we keep in our heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Almighty and ever-living God, hear the prayers we bring before you today. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Bless you, Lord God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruits of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the breath of life. Blessed be God Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the why we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink.
praying, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Sanctify us, O Lord, we pray, these offerings make here to celebrate the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son, and by his radiant splendor, cleanse us from the stains of sin, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Live up your heart. Like a thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord's Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for he has revealed his glory in the presence of chosen witnesses, and filled with the greatest splendor that bodily form which he shared with all humility, that the scandal of the cross might be removed from the hearts of his disciples and that he may show how in the body of the whole church is to be fulfilled what so wonderfully shone forth first in his hands. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who come in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending out your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the breast of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have household worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Calvin, Timothy, Titan, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. And mercy on us all we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called us to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the same command informed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord. We pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the hope of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we well await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Behold. The Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the words, and my soul shall be healed. Dear Jesus, come into my heart and be with me today. Communion Antiphon. When Christ appears, we shall be like him, but we shall see him as he is.
Let us pray. May the heavenly nourishment we have received, O Lord, we pray, transform us into the likeness of your Son, whose radiant splendor you willed to make manifest in his glorious transfiguration, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Um, as you um, as you may heard that the uh, the project of uh, to make the shade for the patio um, supposed to be in three days Wednesday Thursday and Friday, but they just finished it yesterday. And then you look, it's last beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. So the outer, the weekly adoration, um, we planning to because they have to finish. They they ask for um, the completion on Friday. It's mean tomorrow, but they already finished. And before that's one we plan that so tomorrow the adoration is gonna be inside, and just live stream only. And then next week we will bring the adoration outside so that people can attend the adoration as well. But because we finished already, so I need to go back and talk with Deacon Tony and set it up if we can do the adoration tomorrow outside or not. So we will let you know. And please continue for everything that we try to do in order to serve you. The Lord be with you. Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace. St. Michael the Archangel. Defense us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snare of the devil. May God rebuke him with humbly pray and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, trust into hell Satan and all the evil spirit who prowls about the world seeking the roots of souls. Amen. Have a pleasant day, everyone.